In this video, I want to teach you how you can do some brick imitation by using simple tools, just as this little piece of pipe and a piece of cardboard. So let me show you how. For this project, we don't need a lot of materials. We're gonna need uh, the pigments. In this case, these ones are the ones that are also used for coloring uh, cement. It will be red terracotta, charcoal. And you're gonna go ahead and pick a gray that looks like the gray that you want uh, for your motor joints, right? The next thing is the compound. In this case, we're gonna use this dried uh, presentation of compound. And this one will dry in different times. You have the 90 minutes, the 45 minutes, and the 20 minutes. And in this case, I'm gonna use the 20 minutes setup because it will allow me to work a little faster. But if you want, go ahead and use the 45 minute. It will give you, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of work time. Uh, and the idea is just to kind of find a color of a brick and that you feel comfortable with. There are so many different colors, so many different shades that you're not gonna go wrong with the one that you pick and the final results. So don't get too worried about it. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is to kind of find the section where you wanna work. In this case, going up the stairs over here in my house, I find this corner where I want to decorate the, the, the a wall behind this beautiful frame that I have over here. So uh, I wanna go ahead and clean all this area. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I like to fix a lot of things and I bought this historic house and I'm doing a lot of projects to it. Right, so I encourage you to take a look at other videos and to subscribe to my channel. So now we're gonna get a clean bucket and we're gonna add some water first. It's important to add the water before you add the uh, dried uh, powder over here. This powder will attach, will be attached to your buckets if you don't put some water uh, in it, right? So we're gonna use a drill, a mixing drill. That will help us a lot. And then later on, once it's nice and creamy, we're gonna go ahead and add our pigment so uh, in this case uh, since you have different colors of pigments if you feel like you want to use some sort of beige finish or you know more of just a dark color uh, make some grays or just just use the plain one to make it look like the um, normal terracotta finish of uh, planting pots that's fine your imagination is the limit in this case it comes like that dry in a dry form so we want to go ahead and open it up and apply as much as we want right it's not that expensive and in fact i'm going to make some more videos i'm going to make some beautiful pots some stained cement pots or colored cement pots and, and you're going to love it because you can save a ton of money with that i encourage you to subscribe to the channel and take a look at these other videos uh in fact um you know because i like the the darker tones i'm adding some some uh, black to uh my mix and the reason of, of applying these pigments into the mixture is because uh, I want the entire material to look uniform. Um, you know, sometimes I see some other um, uh, imitations of brick, but they, they just only use a white base and they paint over or stain over that. And I don't find it practical because if you chip a section of it with a piece of furniture or something, then you're gonna have a white hole over there that is gonna be really hard to kind of fix. Whereas with this material mixed with, you know, entirely with the color, you can chip it, you can, you know, move it around, you can drag it, you can do whatever, and you're not gonna have the issue of losing the color because the color is throughout the entire mix. So um, that's, that's the, the idea. I'm gonna just transport the material to the surface. I wanna make sure that, um, I just spread the entire thing through the sections that I'm working with. Now, remember that this is a 20 minute uh, setup time. That means that um, actually on the wall will give you about, uh, I will say six to 10 minutes of work time. Uh, and so you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna mix a ton of it because it will get dry on your uh, pot or your bucket. And, um, you know, uh, in this case, what you wanna do is use the 45 minute set it will give you a little more time to work with, and that's fine. You know, it's just practical for me. Now, I'm using this 14 inch blade, and on the description, I'm gonna leave all these materials so you can get them. You know, you can order all these things, the stains, and the colors, and the spatula, whatever you need is gonna be there on the description. You can take a look at it and just order it if you want to. Um, so that's as simple as, as that, you know? Um, now, the other thing that is important as I mix this is that you cover the surface or the floor because that that red 
product is is, is really messy. I mean, if you if you don't put like a like a piece of cloth or a tarp on the floor or a drop cloth, um, it, you're just gonna have to you know clean and clean. It's not gonna get attached to the surfaces, but it's just dusty. So on this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it just on the the first mix that I made, right? I'm gonna leave a, a sample of here so you can see the different colors if you don't want to add any effects right I, I just added for a practical um, example over here a little bit of uh, black on the effects so you can actually see that the bricks will be some sort of uh, 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 burnt uh, so you know that's kind of like the effect that you see like half of the brick is burnt or, or most of the brick is burnt so I want to add that through uh, the, the wall uh, so it looks a little more, I don't know, a more original for me, I guess. You know, this is just your imagination. If this is a project that you can do with your with your partner, with the kids, with your family, you know, grandparents, and you can just have fun. This one is not it's like an, uh, a, a right way of doing it. You just want to add, you know, volume to the wall. You want to make sure that you have something to work with. And by using that little piece of uh, cardboard over there and kind of scratching the, the, the surface with a piece of pipe, you actually imagine like you're scraping some butter out of the, you know, out of a plate. That's how it is, you know, the, you know scraping some butter out of a block. That's how, that's how simple it is. It's fairly, it's, it's, I will say it's hard to the touch, but if you scrape it a little bit, it's just gonna come out, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm scraping it with this piece of pipe and it just kind of, pulling out the, the material, leaving uh, a little line over there, a little mark, uh, a little groove. So that's that's good because it's gonna simulate the, the depth of uh, regular um, mortar. In fact, sometimes the mortar is flush with the brick. So again, this is, this is something so simple that you don't have to worry about like, oh, how deep it's gonna be. Even if it's almost flush, that's fine because what we're gonna do is with a sample of paint, we're gonna go ahead and do a little marks there. You're gonna uh, kind of trace the the, the uh, bricks. And this is something therapeutical. You know, I almost went through an entire bottle of wine by <laughs> trying to do this thing, just relaxing, listening to some music and having fun, imagining that I'm kind of making a some sort of a, a Picasso style uh, wall over there. So that's how simple it is, you know? Now uh, we're gonna work on the verticals. If you see, I'm, I'm, I don't even mark the walls. I just imagine the size of a brick and I start staggering, you know, making my little lines staggering. And if you just kind of go over and you kind of go into the other design, just scrape it a little bit and don't worry about it because again, the, 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 the worse it looks like in this case, the better, you know? It's just gonna give you that cool uh, accent of old brick that is laid and twisted and curved and all the stuff. And in fact, these old houses were like that, you know, they, they, the houses that were made out of bricks, they were just staggering the, the bricks there without thinking too much in levels. And then later on, they were just putting stucco over. That's how they were doing this. And that's why I don't, I'm not too worried about the sizes because back in the days, these bricks were thicker than the ones uh, that we have now. So these were like a four, four of my, uh, four of my uh, fingers wide. That's how wide it is. I will say that it's like about three inch wide. Um, so, um, that's so thick, I would say, you know, so that's, that's the part of it. You, you can see that, you know, this, this material goes out easily with the edge of the, of the pipe. That's my secret tool, right? You can just find a little piece of that. Maybe if you want to use a coin, like a, like a, I don't know, a penny, a dime, that's all you need. If you want to scrape a little bit here and there, it's fine. I'm not using that even a, a level on the other side, just to kind of make it look like that, you know, just, you know, old looking vintage looking brick and it's still some of the designs that we're going to add we're going to add some effects uh, this is uh, one of the brushes that i used to clean my uh, paint brushes with i'm just going to scrape a little bit of that later on i'm going to i will say um, sculpt a little bit of the black over there just to kind of make it a look a little more uh, natural so i'm just going to break that the strokes that i left there but you you can actually see that i'm playing around over here you don't have to be too worried about the way it's gonna look like, uh, and, and in fact, you know, the, the worse it looks, the probably the better it's gonna it's gonna simulate some sort of old brick. That is as simple, uh, you know, as that. So now we're gonna get just the sample. The sample is the the cheapest amount of paint that you can buy, and I'm using this little uh, two and a half inch uh, sponge brush. I'm not even using a regular brush because I just, you know, 
I, I thought in the beginning, but later on it's like, no, I'm just going to use this. It's going to mark really well on those grooves. The grooves themselves will help you to, to you know, be straight. But again, you don't want to be too straight, too perfect, because we want to look for imperfection. You know, how cool is this project? The worse it looks, the better for you. And that's what I'm doing over here. I'm just marking some, some lines are a little thicker than others. You don't need to follow some sort of a rule over here, you know, and in fact, if you notice that you have some sort of a drips or, you know, something that looks too artificial, you want to go ahead and scrape that paint uh, in, you know, about a few minutes. So you, you will take that, that brusher edge out and it will look a little more rough. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and just do those marks, some thicker than the others. It's fine. You know, just take your time, relax, and, you know, just play a little bit with that. And later on, what I did is for some of my effect, I'm not showing it in the video, but I just add a little bit of the of the black pigment on the paint, just a, just just a little bit, and I sprinkled a little bit over the, the the you know the pan over there, the hand pan that I had, and I just mixed it, and I had a lot of fun by um, just you know applying some here and there to make it look like it was dirty, right? So now let's talk about those edges. The edges we want to make sure that they look, uh, you know, as like a, a section, a chunk of plaster fell off. So for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna start making a fracture with our spatula, right? So you wanna pretend that something, a chunk fell off, and that's why I'm going like in a zigzag. Imagine that you are, um, I, don't, I don't know, trying to uh, uh, draw a, a lightning bolt. That's it, you know? So you just kinda uh, imagine a crack on the wall. And in fact, my house is so old that I, ha I didn't have to imagine so much because right next to it, it was a crack. So I was like, okay, you know, now I know how a crack looks like and I just start kind of cracking the stuff, you know, just based on the crack that is right next to it. If you notice on the right side, uh, you will find a, a huge crack on the wall. And that's why I'm fixing the entire house. I'm, you know, covering all the, the walls with this mesh, a special mesh, and applying a whole bunch of materials. And I, I encourage you to take a look at the project. I will see how it's going to look like. So, uh, in fact, you know, you can add some, some uh, effects. I'm just using a, a wet uh, rag and I'm using some little effects here and there to just make it look like, I don't know, somebody's mirror a little bit of a motor on the edge, on the corners, right? Like, like that's how it looks like sometimes. And I'm again scraping a little bit of that that side and just to the side of the of the the edges, so so it looks like you know if somebody just kind of put cement over there. That's how easy it is. That's how practical this is. You know, you you can become an expert doing all this type of effects in your house. Imagine if you have a bar or you know a restaurant where you want to do a little little design like that now you know how to do it the only thing that you need to remember is to you know just kind of play with your imagination or maybe just go outside go outside and, and you know go around the town it's like hmm i want it to look like this wall over here and maybe i can burn some uh, sections over here make it look a little more yellow so you can mix all the colors in it but you know your imagination is what you know determines how is it going to look like right you have the basics and now you can do it yourself and you know if you want to add some color like if something just kind of fell off let it be and this is how you can actually have this finish in your house so now i hope this video i'm going to make a ton of videos about effects imitations of stone and all the stuff and i hope you to see them right so thank you for watching the video and don't forget to see the rest of them thank you bye bye